how in the world did they get these on the truck? From spacefaring shuttles, to tunnel digging monster drills, get ready to see the 10 biggest machines ever moved on wheels. Number 10, Muon Electromagnet. The Muon G2 Electromagnet was developed to aid scientists in research and experiments related to particles, atoms, and their relation to electromagnetic forces. And guess how big this weird sciency thing is? It's a massive 50 feet in diameter and weighs a whopping 700 tons. Because of its watch-like appearance, many people call it the 700 ton Swiss watch. Over 30 different universities from all over the world collaborated on this giant device, which has a humongous magnetic field that is able to move tiny particles with extreme accuracy. In 2013, it was moved in a cross-country journey from Brookhaven National Laboratory to Fermilab, a journey of 3,200 miles in 35 days. I don't have to tell you that they had a special truck for the job, right? And how did they move this massive research project? They had to move the whole device in one piece. It started out using a barge to sail down around the East Coast and then through Mobile, Alabama to the Mississippi River. When they got as close as possible, they used a special truck to move the machine down a closed highway in the dead of night and arrive at the final destination. Number 9. Blackbird Stealth Plane Now this is a rare jewel. The Blackbird SR-17 was a special aircraft that was commissioned by the US Air Force and NASA during the Cold War era. It was arguably the first aircraft with stealth capabilities and was designed for high altitude, long range reconnaissance missions. In simple words, it was a spy plane. And just like a lot of spy stuff, many of the technical details are not available about it. In addition, it was rarely seen by the public back in those days. It's over 65,000 pounds in weight, even when empty, and an incredible 107 feet in length. Moving these guys sure would have been a tough day's work, especially since one of these costs around $35 million. There are several things that are worth mentioning about the Blackbird. It is one of the pioneers of stealth technology and a legend in aviation history. It holds several records under its belt, some that even stand today. Throughout its operational period, from 1966 to 1998, it was the world's fastest and highest flying air-breathing operational manned aircraft. It also holds the record for the absolute high altitude of an aircraft. Can you guess how high that thing flew? 85,000 feet in altitude. That's almost in outer space. Crazy, isn't it? Are there any other spy planes you know about? Do you think there are some out there that are even faster, but are still classified? What about the Space Force? Could it be a front for a new program to develop supersonic jet fighters? Let me know what you think. Go on, hit a comment down below. Then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Number eight, Space Shuttle Endeavor. Here is perhaps the most valuable cargo transported on today's list, the Endeavor Space Shuttle. First used in 1992, the Space Shuttle used to carry out NASA's operations for two decades. Overall, it went to space 25 times and proved to be one of the most successful machines of humanity. It had a maximum speed of nearly 17,400 miles per hour, and its value? A jaw-dropping $200 billion. Yes, this might be one of the few things that Jeff Bezos still can't afford. And that's not all. Endeavor is a legend of our spacefaring civilization. It has become a part of the most memorable moments in our history. Back in 1993, the Hubble telescope, then in orbit, was in trouble. Some malfunctions in the telescope had made it almost useless. It was the Endeavour that flew out there and allowed the astronauts to repair the Hubble. If it weren't for that mission, the Hubble would no longer be functioning and it would have been a loss of billions of dollars. The next big thing is the International Space Station. If you know anything about space exploration, you must have heard of it, right? Endeavour played a huge part in the construction of that as well. It delivered the first components of ISS back in 1998, and it delivered the final big piece of the ISS as well in 2011, just before its retirement. It was a staggering 170,000 pounds in weight, 
and it was last transported on its 12-mile journey from Los Angeles International Airport to the California Science Center after it retired in 2012. After so many voyages out of this world, it's funny that the shuttle made its final trip on the back of a truck. I think I'd rather go to outer space, but a ride in an 18-wheeler sounds pretty exciting too. Number 7. Miracle on the Hudson You must have heard about the Miracle on the Hudson River, right? In 2009, Captain Sullenberger, a former Air Force pilot, landed a malfunctioned U.S. Airways flight onto the Hudson River. Well, it turns out, raking the plane out of the water was just as difficult as landing it onto the river in the first place. The flight ran into an engine failure after a flock of birds struck its engines. Without engines or any measures for an emergency landing, pilots Chesley Sullenberger and Jeffrey Skiles glided the plane safely onto the Hudson waters. Why is it a miracle? Because this was the first time an Airbus had landed on a river with that many passengers. All 150 passengers were safe, no one killed, and only a few sustained minor injuries. It was an Airbus A320, so naturally it was humongous. It's almost 130 feet long and nearly 175,000 pounds in weight. Of course, even though it is soaking wet, this one too is precious cargo. Its estimated value is somewhere around $77 million. Therefore, it had to take a journey from the Hudson River to the Carolinas Aviation Museum in Charlotte, North Carolina. There it will sit, and it will be a piece of American aviation history. Don't forget to visit there if you ever go to North Carolina. Plus, if you want to know the full story, there are a number of books and films that go into great detail. If you want a dramatized account, you can watch the movie Sully, starring Tom Hanks. It gives wonderful insight into the whole incident. Number 6. Saturn V. This could be one of the biggest machines you will ever see in your life. It's the Saturn V Apollo rocket. It was an eye-popping 363 feet tall, 6.2 million pounds in weight, and almost $2 billion in value. The Saturn V rocket is among the fastest vehicles ever produced by us humans. Its record speed was 6,164 miles per hour. That's almost 3 kilometers per second. Now imagine a 36-story building. Imagine you put 400 elephants inside of it, and that's how gargantuan this machine really is. You get the picture, right? Could you imagine that something this big could go that fast? Now picture this. It was transported from its building site to the launch pad in Cape Kennedy in 1967, and the trucks they used to move it were almost completely overwhelmed. Here's one more fun fact. When the Saturn V is fully operational, the rocket is 60 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. Incredible, isn't it? Number 5. Tunnel Driller Digging tunnels underground sure is a lot of heavy-duty work, and so is the machinery that goes with it. These heavy-duty caterpillars are designed to bore and tear a hole through anything that comes ahead of them. Rock, sand, rubble, you name it. And such an endeavor sure needs a lot of power and a whole lot of very heavy tools. A typical tunnel digging machine can have a diameter of 25 feet and can weigh an astounding 1,100 plus tons. And that's not the end of it, they can get as long as 380 feet. These big guys cannot be moved in a single trip and require careful disassembly of parts, slow and steady transportation, and reassembly on the construction site. Of course, that is easier said than done. This particular heavy tunnel digging machine was moved to a construction site in Ostfildern, Scharnhausen, Germany in 2013. Did you know? Apparently tunnel digging machine operators are among the highest paid construction workers in the world. Plus, they get to drive these massive beasts. Sounds like a cool gig to me. Number 4. Heat Transfer Reactor As the name suggests, these machines are another super heavy entry in the world of oversized science experiments. All in all, General Electric designed them for the U.S. Air Force back during the Cold War era to experiment on aircraft nuclear propulsion. However, these mega beasts were each more than 450,000 pounds in weight, a towering 25 feet tall, and 40 meters long. Guess how it was moved? Well, they didn't move the whole thing together, that's for sure, the company hired a fleet of trucks and moved parts of it separately. 
but you can bet it was no ordinary feat and each part must have weighed thousands of tons. Imagine if you were a trucker, would you have accepted a job like this? Let me know down below in the comments. And again, if you haven't already, do remember to hit the bell button after you subscribe. More videos are coming out every week and notifications help you stay on top of them all. Number 3. Large Binocular Telescope Stationed well above 10,000 feet high up on Mount Graham, Arizona, the Large Binocular Telescope is one of the largest telescopes in the world. This telescope has been super useful with observing and finding new phenomena in the universe. However, moving this behemoth to the top of Mount Graham was no easy task. The mirrors of the telescope each weigh a staggering 17 tons and have a light collecting area of 1200 square feet. I don't have to say this, but they are extremely fragile and cost a staggering $100 million. Today, the observatory is fully operational and you can actually pay a visit and take a look at our universe like never before. If you like science and astronomy, this place is sure to have some magical moments in store for you. Number 2. Massive MRI Magnet Magnetic resonance imaging is a modern medical technology that is useful to create visual images of the interior of human bodies. Chances are you might have had an MRI scan at least once in your life, especially if you have ever had a broken arm or ankle. MRI equipment and the components are very expensive and take a huge amount of time to build and assemble, especially because of the intricacies and complexity in their design. When transporting them, there is absolutely no room for error. As it turns out, the MRIs used in medical research facilities are way bigger than the ones in hospitals. Pictured here is the delivery of one of the largest MRI magnets to the Portland Hospital. Moving these magnets sure must have put the truckers through a lot of stress, since the slightest bump can cause millions of dollars of irreparable damage. Number 1. Supermassive Oil Rigs Keeping up with oil demand in the world is no easy task, and drilling for oil is certainly not a small feat. Each year, countries and people use billions of barrels of oil, and the machines that drill and extract the oil are just as big as the world's appetite for oil. Offshore oil rigs are among the largest and heaviest machinery we humans have ever developed. They are platforms that are stationed in deep seas where massive oil reserves lie beneath and take a tremendous amount of capital, resources, and labor to complete. Simply put, they are more like mega cities floating on the ocean that can sometimes house dozens or occasionally hundreds of employees. Oil rigs come in various sizes, depending on the size of the oil reserves and the depth of the ocean and other climate factors under which they operate. Whatever the size, you can be sure that even the small ones are actually super big. Typically, these megastructures can be 650 to 1,000 feet wide and long. And their height? The deep sea rigs can be as much as 1,400 feet tall, starting from the ocean bed, as tall as the Eiffel Tower. But it's not just their heights, the weight is absolutely absurd. It can range from 20,000 tons to even 170,000 tons in the biggest ones. Pictured here is the transportation of some parts of a massive offshore oil rig. This can very well be one of the biggest and heaviest machines ever moved on wheels. Tell me, would you like to go and work on one of these someday? It would be like living in a futuristic city now, wouldn't it? And that is it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed what you saw in the video. Subscribe. Get ready and stay alert. You'll know just as soon as another video just like this one gets released.